Hi everyone, welcome to today's 40 minute maths where we are going to be doing some multiplying and dividing fractions and mixed numbers. But before we do that, we've got a starter. So some different questions are going to come up at the screen and you've got to shout out the answer before the answers come up. And there's going to be some music in the background. Now the music you'll probably notice is going to get faster and faster. And as that happens, the answers to the questions are going to come up quicker and quicker. So you've got to make sure you're super fast getting towards the end in order to get your answer before they come up on the screen. Okay, so today's learning intention is to convert mixed numbers into improper fractions and vice versa, and to multiply fractions and mixed numbers. And of course, as always, there is the best in the business bonus questions where they get super tricky at the end. Okay, so before we get on converting between improper fractions and mixed numbers, I just want to do a recap on what an improper fraction or a mixed number is. So we know that a fraction is part of something, so it's less than one whole. But when we have more than one whole, um, we have to have what we call uh, an improper fraction where the numerator, the number at the top, is bigger than the denominator at the bottom, or a whole number with a fraction, which is a mixed number. So you can see here, we've got one and three quarters, um, which is what you call a mixed number, because there's one whole and three quarters. But that is also the same as, if we were to count them, seven quarters, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. So we can turn that into seven quarters, which is 704. So it's exactly the same thing, one and three quarters and seven quarters. Now, if there wasn't the physical representation there, you can do one times four, which is four, and then add the three, and seven would go at the top, and that would the bottom would just stay the same because it's seven quarters. If you wanted to turn the seven quarters back into one and three quarters, you'd do seven divided by four, which is one, four goes in seven once, and three left over, which is three quarters. So we've got some improper fractions here now. So if you want to pause and have a go at turning these uh, into the uh, other one, then go for it. If not, I'm going to go for it now. So let's have a look at this first one. One times four is four. Add the one makes five quarters. Number two. Uh, two times nine is 18. Add the two is 20 over nine. Next one, one times nine is nine, add the five is 14, so that's 14 over nine. Uh, this one, this improper fraction here, three goes into five once, and then there's two left over, so it's one and two thirds. If you notice when I do my mixed numbers, I always make sure that this number here is right in between the line, because if you put it higher, it can look like, it could look like a 12, it could look like an improper fraction of 12 thirds. So make sure that goes right in between. Uh, five goes into 19 three times. Three times five is 15, and you've got four left over, so that's three and four fifths. And last one, dodgy five there. Uh, eight goes into 33, or eight times four is 32. So it's four, and then we've got one eighth left over. So multiply fractions is actually the easiest of the four operations um, in terms of using fractions. So, super pips. Well, first of all, just have a, a think about it. When you multiply by a number less than one, your amount will get smaller. So my amount should be smaller than, than two quarters that I end up with. Um, easy peasy to multiply fractions. All you got to do is multiply the top, the numerator, and then multiply the bottom. So two times three makes six you can chat the screen if you want when i call out these uh, number sentences and four times five makes 20 which would be 26 and if you want to, to simplify that down you can divide them both by two and make that three tenths next one so dividing fractions so as i said before when you multiply by a number less than one the amount should get smaller but if you divide by a number less than one the amount should get bigger so hopefully we should end up with an amount bigger than two quarters two quarters of course is the same as a half now i've mentioned before there's a really good video on youtube and um, which has got like a wrap uh, which says keep change flip so what you have to do is the two quarters here you keep that that stays exactly the same you change the divide to a multiply and you flip the three fifths to make five thirds. And then you do exactly the same as what you did before for the multiplying fractions. Two times five makes 10. Four times three makes 12. And like I said, you're gonna end up with an amount bigger than you did at the start, bigger than two quarters because you're dividing by a number less than one. So two quarters divided by three fifths makes 10 twelfths. Now what you sometimes get is questions like this, three quarters times five. So what you need to do in this situation is turn that number five into a fraction. Well, that's five holes, isn't it? So that would be as a fraction, five over one. So I would just turn it into five over one. It doesn't matter that sits a little bit lower than the line. And then you can do exactly the same thing. Three times five makes 15. Four times one makes four. 
So three quarters times five equals 15 quarters. You could also turn that back into a mixed number. Four goes into 15 three times. So that'd be three and three quarters left over. Okay, so dividing fractions by a whole number. All you have to do is you turn that three into a fraction, which if you can remember, three as a fraction is three over one. Then you do exactly the same thing. Uh, keep, change, flip. Three sevenths times, changing that to times, one over three equals three times one makes three, seven times three makes 21. You may have noticed you could simplify that down to make one seventh. Okay, so when you're multiplying mixed numbers, you have to do exactly the same thing, but you just turn your mixed numbers into improper fractions. So let's turn this two and one seventh, let's turn that into an improper fraction. So two times seven makes 14, add the one makes 15. Over seven and multiplied by uh, three times five makes 15, add the four makes 19 over five. Now you might get this situation here where these two numbers, you need a bit of a method for multiplying. So I would do a column multiplication. Let's do that under here, 15 times 19. Okay, so nine times five is 45. Now, I'll put the five there. Now, I always put my four just under there. I know people put them in different places and that's absolutely fine. You can put it wherever you like. And nine times one is nine. Add the four, makes 13. Then we need our zero because we are multiplying by a multiple of 10. And one times five is five. Ooh, slightly dodgy five there. And one times one is one. Add them both together, would make five. Eight. So that would make 285. Over 35. Now you could definitely simplify this down and turn it back into a mixed number. I'm not going to do it at the moment. But that is something that you can do. Okay, so same thing for divided mixed numbers. We're going to turn our two and two thirds into an improper fraction. So two times three is six and add the two makes eight thirds divided by uh, one times five is five, add the four makes nine, divided by nine fifths. Then we're gonna do our keep change flip. So eight thirds stays the same. Change the divide to a multiply. And flip the nine fifths make five notes. I'm just going to join that up there. Uh, eight times five makes 40. And three times nine makes 27. So the answer would be uh, 40 27ths, or you could change that to one and 13. 27th. Okay, so here's your first lot of questions. Um, you can answer as a fraction or an improper fraction, um, or if you really want to stretch yourself, you can convert it back to a mixed number and simplify it to its lowest form. Um, so press pause now to have a go at these. 
and here's the answers. So if you have a look at number one, you could have simplified that down to uh, 10, 20 once. Number two looks like you could divide both 21 and 45 by three. So that could be uh, seven fifteenths. Uh, number three, uh, those numbers could definitely be divided by three as well. So you could have simplified that down to 11 32ths. Um, and if you look at four, five, and six, it's got the answer as an improper fraction. Then it's got it as a mixed number in its simplest form. Okay, so here's the uh, dividing by fractions, whole numbers, and mixed numbers uh, questions. So again, you can answer just as a fraction or a mixed number, or you can uh, answer as a mixed number and simplify right down to its lowest form. So press pause now if you want to crack these on your own. If not, I'm going to go on to the answers. So here we go. Um, number one, I don't believe can be simplified, nor can number two. Uh, number three, 24 and 84, both in the 12 times table. So that could be simplified down to two sevenths. And four, five, and six, it's got the answers as uh, improper fractions and as mixed numbers simplified down. So it's now time for your best in the business bonus questions. If you want to have a stab at these, press pause now. Okay, so number one says, what fraction is exactly halfway between three fifths and five sevenths? So if you'd found equivalent fractions, you should have worked out you can turn both of these into 30 fifths. So uh, three fifths is the same as 21 30 fifths and five sevenths is the same as 25 30 fifths. So halfway between 21 30 fifths and 25 30 fifths is 23 30 fifths. Number two, which of these fractions is closest in value to a third? Well, hopefully you've worked out because um, this is the highest number, 50 over 151, that would be closest to a third. And last question, Lily and Julian each start with the same number. Lily works out half the number. Julian works out three quarters of the number. The sum of their answers, if you added their answers together, is 275. What was the number they started with? Well, if you added together a half and three quarters, you would get five quarters or one and a quarter, whatever way uh, you want to put it. Um, and we're looking for what one whole is, okay? So if five quarters is the same as 275, if we worked out what one quarter would be by dividing it by five, one quarter would be 55. And then if we multiply that by four to make four quarters, because four quarters is one whole, the answer would be 200 and 20. Now if you find some of these best in the business bonus questions uh, a bit tricky and you can't get them, don't worry, it's not to panic, they are really really hard some of them. Um, if you did manage to get them then that's absolutely brilliant too. Okay so I hope everyone got on with everything okay today. Uh, thanks again to all the people who make the comments, the likes, the subscribers, uh, really appreciate it. And my next video will come up tomorrow afternoon or evening which is Thursday evening which will be your last one before the Easter holidays going to give you a bit of a break over Easter so um, until then stay safe and be good for your parents